What's going on? This is Legend Nova, all about the kicks. Man, they, they got us on a curfew over here in this town, man. We gotta be in the house by 10 o'clock. What the fuck? It's like being in school, or being home with your mama, telling you gotta be home before the lights turn off. Um, There's nothing open anyway, so it ain't shit to do anyway, but stay in the house. So everybody, man, just stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch nobody. If somebody give you dap, hit him with an elbow. You know what I'm saying? Because you ain't trying to catch that shit. You ain't trying to be sick. You don't want to be shitting all day or running or you don't want to die. So stay safe. Stay away from old people because they stink. <laughs> nah, for real, man. I don't know what's up with these old people, man. They be smelling bad, man. Like, like, I guess when people get old, they just don't be caring about this stuff no more. And they be like, yo, fuck it. It is what it is. Shit, when I get old, nigga, I still got to smell fresh. You feel me? But just stay away for all type of germs, man. And like I said, stay in the house and keep warm. I know a lot of y'all niggas out here going to be real mad. Because y'all can't be with your side chicks no more. <laughs> so niggas who got side chicks... You got a mean girlfriend, you are oh, fuck. So how you gonna get out the house? <laughs> but nah, man, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I know niggas stay up. Don't be snitching. I'm gonna be snitching. I'm gonna be snitching, man. But um, yeah, man, just stay safe out here, man. Casanova out here making jokes, shooting videos, talking about he got the corona. The corona ain't gonna stop him. Stay outside. He just doing that shit to to fucking break some records, man. Casanova, funny dude, man. That nigga's hilarious. Got his mom out there. If y'all ain't watched that video, man, it's on Instagram, man. A lot of people just, like, saying shit about him doing that shit. But Casanova's a funny dude, man. So you got to respect that. I don't think he really mean that shit. He's just trying to get some clout, man. It is what it is, man. Um, But this curfew shit is crazy, man. I don't know. Um... I just don't know, man. This shit's crazy. I hope this shit, like, clears up quick, man, because a lot of people are not working. They gonna need money. And Trump think $1,200 to $1,500 is gonna be enough. No, it's not. Because a lot of people lost a lot of money. A lot of people work paycheck on paycheck. They go paycheck to paycheck to pay their bills. A lot of people can't save money because it's too much Stuff they gotta pay, UI bill, cable bill, car note, kids, food, you know what I mean? So it's hard to save money. So people live paycheck after paycheck. So the point is, you need to try to get them checks out quick as fuck. And I think everybody should maybe get $3,000 so they can catch up on their bills. Because the bill collectors do not give a fuck about you not having your job. They still want their money. And if they tell you, okay, you don't have to pay for two months. They're going to charge you mad fucking entrance. Don't believe nothing the banks tell you. It's all a scam. Pay your bills if you got some extra money. Still pay your bills. Um, Trump need to get that money coming out quick. I think he's supposed to be trying to give up $8 billion. So I don't know who the hell he giving all that money to. But I take $1,200. i am working right now because I work at a grocery store. And plus, I work at Poland. So we don't close down. <laughs> Only if some crazy shit. So everybody need food. So that's about good about working at the grocery store. You stay open. You know what I'm saying? But I feel sorry for people who work at Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and everything. Because they ain't working. And they losing their paycheck. You know what I mean? And my boy work at GameStop. And he told me he got to use his vacation to get his money. That's some bullshit. Like, it's not his fault because... This virus is going down. You got to use your vacation time to get some money. Like, come on, man. These companies need to cut that shit out. You know what I mean? I got too much money to be fucking telling us that we can't. We got to use our vacation to do some. Let's time shop my job. Say some shit like that. Nigga, I'll be like, make the fuck out of here with that shit. But, um, everybody, man, just stay safe. Stay in the house. It ain't shit to do out here anyway. We going to see how many crimes it's going to be. Let's see anybody in, anybody in my neighborhood gonna get shot. I'm not wishing bad luck on nobody, but let's see. Because I'm telling you, people is can't stay in the house all day. You got your girlfriend. She can't, she can't deal with you 
if you if your job is off for two weeks, she's off for two weeks, y'all gonna be clashing every day. Because it's, most of the time when you at work, she's off. When you working, she's off. So it's like, y'all be in the house for two weeks in a row, you can't go nowhere but eat food and watch TV. You gonna have to watch TV shows that you don't wanna watch with her because you, you're not into that type of shit. So it's gonna be real crazy. It's like a lot, it's gonna be a lot of fights with females and their their boyfriend because they gonna be clashing together, man. It's gonna be hard out here to be with your girl for two weeks if both of y'all off. You know what I mean? You need that space. You need that space. You don't want to be with your girl every day. You know what I mean? So, I man, everybody just stay safe, man. Get this money if you could. And Trump gonna give us that money. Take that money. Save it up. People who have the income tax getting seven to eight thousand dollars i hope y'all save some money because if you're working and your job is off then you're gonna need some bread because i know a lot of y'all females y'all get that little six seven thousand dollars y'all spend all the money y'all buying sneakers y'all buying clothes you're catching up on your ui bill you're catching up on your cable bills and then y'all broke by april 1st so the point is i hope some of y'all save some of that money because this shit is going on this is the second year in a row that have been a bad year Last year, my job was on strike for three weeks. Now, this year is the fucking corona. And life is getting harder and harder out here. So, y'all better enjoy your life and live to the fullest. And if you feel like traveling, do it. Not now. But after this shit happens. Because life is too short, man. You got to enjoy life. I'm out of here. One love. Peace out. Deuces.